and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sindhu Nair, and today I'm here with you to share a nice itinerary, travel itinerary with you. So uh, this video is specifically for people who are living in Canada or who are planning to come to Canada, and specifically Toronto, because this is an itinerary for a place near Toronto. So watch this video to plan your trip. I call it the weekend trip. If you're planning a weekend trip, this area is something that you must visit. If you're planning a weekend trip near Toronto, the name of the area is the Grand Bend. So this is around two and a half hours away by car from Toronto and this video will give you all information around what can you do, how can you plan your itinerary and so on and so forth. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All your subscriptions, comments, likes, they really matter to us and encourage us to make more such nice videos. Yeah? So let's get started. Before you plan your trip, let me share with you that this is going to be, um, for me, this was a one night, two day journey. So I call it the, that's why I call it the weekend trip and specifically starting on a Saturday, ending on a Sunday. So Grand Bend is a beautiful place and one must visit it. But now that you're going there, you need a place to stay, right? So now the first thing to start with before you plan this trip is to book a place for yourself. One night, right? Weekend trip, Saturday night, you have to, you need a space. So one of the options is uh, to search for an Airbnb. One is to book an Airbnb, go to airbnb.ca, type in Grand Ben and type in whatever dates you want to travel, look at the specifications that you want and select your property according to your budget. The other way to do is to book through there are websites like VRBO, booking.com but all of this needs to be done well in advance of your actual day of trip. Otherwise, you end up not getting properties or getting expensive properties and for people who are adventurous <laughs> too adventurous so the other thing is to book motels motels are some things that are really like we couldn't find them online so if you really need to go there see and book it there and if you want to try that out go ahead i am not one of those purple people so i purple people uh, so i would like to book things in advance so that's the most important thing number one book a place for yourself second is how do you get to grand bend right so we went by road we went on this road trip it's very close by from Toronto like just a two two and a half hours drive uh, so it doesn't take much time but if you have a car great take your car if you don't have a car then book a car what we did was use this app called Turo Turo is like the Airbnb for cars there are people who put up their personal cars for rent on Turo and people like us who don't have car to rent these cars uh, to go on a short trip so you can do that too otherwise if you don't want to do that then uh, go for these car rental companies that are available called Enterprise and there are so much more so many more just search online car rental companies near me and you will be able to find something so two things before you even start traveling book your place book your car now the day of travel okay so uh, this is basically a weekend trip right so it starts on a saturday morning what we did was we started on saturday 8 a.m and we reached grand bend by 10 30 11 ish because also we stopped on the way the route was beautiful expressways and then countryside roads must drive on these roads it's such an amazing experience uh, i'm sure you'll love it so uh, so it's up to you on how much time do you spend on the road how much time it takes you to reach there and um, make sure that you like if you want to stop in between stop in between there's no problem right but make sure that you leave early because weekends generally all these expressways are packed because everyone wants to go out of the city correct so um, tip number one leave early as early as you can okay but having said that, there is a disadvantage to leaving early. The hotel check-ins here in Grand Bend generally approximately started around 4 p.m. So if you reach Grand Bend by like say 11 a.m., what do you do? So that was the question and that was the difficult part that Ankit and I were stuck in, but we still found a solution to it. So we reached early, we told our hotel that we'd come early, but they couldn't offer and such an early check-in. They could probably manage an early one-hour check-in, but that's about it. Uh, but that's fine. We reached Grand Bend and we thought we'll have some brunch, right? We haven't had, we didn't have breakfast because we left very early. So we thought we'll have brunch. Now there's this Main Street West uh, road, right? Like when you enter Grand Bend, uh, there's, a, there's this famous street which has all the restaurants. So I would recommend go explore the restaurants. What we had and we tried was a Mexican restaurant called La Playita. Um, best thing was one of the spicy margaritas and jalapeno poppers delicious you have to go there it's such a colorful vibe to the entire place colorful place uh, beautiful like the infrastructure and everything um, the interior is actually infrastructure interiors was beautiful so go try out or you can try out other uh, restaurants that are there on main street west so spend some time two three hours so i think you should be done by 1 pm 
now what do you do you still have your like you haven't checked in yet but it's fine right like you've come from your home directly it's okay if you haven't checked in so you have now 3 hours before your check in within those 3 hours you can go explore the beach do check the weather before you go yeah um, sometimes it starts raining it's chilly so we really don't know but check the weather if it's nice and sunny and in the summers go there sit at the beach spend the, spend some time grand bend also offers a lot of like the beach area offers a lot of sports activities at the beach you can explore there too we couldn't because it was really cold uh, even though it was we were in like spring so we went in spring we did not really go in summer but um, it wasn't as uh, warm enough to go inside water or do water sports so you can try out those water sports after that 4 pm check in time go check into your hotel the hotel we chose and we got one space literally one space was remaining in the hotel when we booked it was the colonial hotel so we checked in to the colonial hotel uh, what we did was we went to the hotel checked in and we left for this space called bad apple brewing company which is another like 30 minutes drive from a hotel so uh, bad apple brewing company is this like amazing outside groody like it has beautiful apple trees and they're like symmetrically and planted very symmetrically then there is this area which has like barbecue area there's this area where you get freshly brewed beer if there's a festival going on perfect timing try to go if there's a festival going on it was amazing so many people you have like so many just like just an outdoor in the open just relax enjoy the sun enjoy the beer lovely place you must go there you have to go there and enjoy that um area the place the vibe of it when we went there was a live singing going on if you're going in a group even more fun Two hours at the Bad Apple Brewing Company. We got free at around seven ish. We were really tired by then. We had no energy left. We went to the hotel. We slept off. But we slept off also because it was raining. The weather was not that great to be outside. But if you are going and the weather is perfect, do not go. Just go to your hotel, freshen up, get ready again by eight p.m. eight 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 fifteen. 8:15 p.m. and go to the beach and watch the sunset. It is going to be so worth it. I promise you the sunset at Grand Bend Beach is beautiful. So try that. Although by night this place really gets deserted. There's pretty much the college crowd or tourists and that's about it. But what you can do is go to these places called Willies. There was Growling Gator. You can go to these places. They have really nice vibe in the evening or like kind of like clubbing why not really clubbing to that extent but really nice fun cool vibes so before you go for the sunset like either you go dressed up or you go in comfortable clothes come back dress up and go for these uh, to these clubs uh, don't go with too formal clothes street style nice and uh, fun cool colorful clothes yeah next morning sunday morning now sunday you have to check out check out is 11 am so make sure that you plan everything pack your bag and leave before 11 am now because it's a sunday sunday there is this market called the pinery market which is very close by from grand bend so if you map out grand bend to pinery market it's not even 20 minutes like it's very close by and this pinery market only opens on sundays it's only available on sunday so it's more like a street market open area has so much food oh my god so much food uh, to try uh, wood oven pizza try the mango iced tea uh, there is this famous garlic butter buy it There's so much more just explore the market it is an amazing market you can shop you can eat whatever you want to do it's only available on sunday it's exclusive so go and visit the market and have some fun so once you're done with the market you can come back or you can visit so many more wine um what do you call wineries which are nearby so you can also visit these wineries they have like um very cool uh, festivals sometimes planned so you can search for them online wineries near me or vineyards near me and you can go there too so that is much pretty much on a sunday and then back to grand bend area the main street west area you can also try this place called hobo pies hobo pies is owned by this owner who left like husband and wife they left their jobs uh, in the healthcare industry and uh, opened hobo pies so try that out as well do meet the owner and he has some amazing stories to to share so that's it for grand bend and that's all pretty much like what one and a half day less um and yeah while coming back from grand bend to toronto you can leave like around like 4ish 5ish you can leave grand bend come to toronto and between that like not even 4ish 3 pm i think easily you can leave by 3 pm or even before that leave grand bend come to toronto on the way there are so many other treks that you can go to so if you have the energy you have like you're adventurous you want to you love nature love hiking so make sure that you visit one of these treks
Our favorite is Dundas Peak and Q Falls. It is not a very long trek, just three kilometers, so not too much of a trek. I'm sure you can do that, and I promise you beautiful views from up there. So visit Dundas Peak and Q Falls, and then drive your way back to Toronto. So yeah, that's all. A uh, two-day trip, right? That's a lot to see in two days, actually. But you can cover it. You can see it. It is a beautiful, beautiful weekend trip. Do take it. If you have any question. just reach out to me in the comments i have to rush now i have a dance class so i have to go so i will see you next time till then take care of yourself subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um and yeah okay bye